like the last thing before I say before I leave is like we should have a unicorn meeting soon. Mm -hmm, definitely. Maybe end of the week, beginning next month. Um. Yeah, Griff and I are flying really intensely, like okay. Wednesday to Friday, and then mm -hmm. we're in Asia. But yeah, I've been trying to figure that out. I'll put it in. Um, I guess maybe we need a new channel for Capital U Unicorns. We have the Unicorns channel, but it's different, yeah. Yeah. And nothing that DAC has to discuss is like secret. Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. So I, have, I wish you best of luck, Chris. You have my fullest uh, support and uh, see you guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> um, Chris, did you get the recording going? Cool. So um, have you read and do you agree to the advice process? Oh. And the mission statement. Yay, the manifesto. Yeah, you've been a big part of that one. And, and um, yeah, you're, you're on board with it. <laughs> um, the conflict resolution process. Cool. And have you read the roles process? Ha, ha just kidding. You basically wrote it. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. And the milestone tutorial. I'm sure you read that one a while ago and we're going to need to update that now that we have like new DAP. <laughs> It's, yeah, it's a document and I put it on the wiki like, I don't know, like five months ago or something, you know, back when it was relevant. <laughs> and it's something that we'll need to like, um, we'll definitely need. Yeah, although I don't know when to make these updates because the DAP feels like, ah, oh, things could change. I would definitely wait until the next update, the next release to do that. Before doing it. Be, so it's going to be uh, really soon, either the next release or the release after, mm. we will add button functionality to the milestones themselves. Mm. And so that will be a big change. After that, it should stay well. Okay. Um, have you presented your roles in the roles meeting? Yes, you have. Okay, cool. And um, yay, you did all the things. And we all know that you've been hanging around on right. You've attended your gov meetings, you've attended roles meetings, you've contributed, you've made your own milestones and you've completed them to paid. Um, but now we get to uh, talk about the fun stuff, um, the deep shit. Chris, what is your what's your sense of your trajectory your mission in life and and how does that fit in here with giveth and what you're called to do in the world
Yeah, that's a beautiful answer. Um, mm. So, so you talk like a lot about in in broad picture, like making the world a better place, which giveth is definitely about. Um, but like, what what specific um, ways in which giveth is doing that, like, really resonate with you? Yeah. Yeah. You talk a lot about, um, like what I'm hearing when you talk about this is governance stuff, like so much human relation. And that's cool reminder to me that like, even though you're this comms person, like you're such a strong for like, um, hmm, like moral force and governance too. And like really taking the challenges and experiments like on yourself, like, yeah, okay. Like if we're going to, try this I'm gonna really try it on myself too um cool um what what unique talents and gifts do you contribute to the giveth galaxy that was awesome how you did that with the roles process like I feel like back in the summer we all were talking about having you know a roles meeting a roles sheet that's more robust like Lindsay was talking about it a lot and then just like here you come in with like the support from like the back end of like okay I'm gonna like create this really like detailed like well-documented process that like I've like, like thought out really thoroughly listened to what everyone has said and like compiled all of these like missions that like people want to instigate and just create like maintain and create that maintaining infrastructure um 
Bowen, how do you how do you see like your role as Chris's advocate in um uh, I I've had somewhat uh, uh somewhat experienced in uh working with Chris and uh, you know within the within the confines of Giveth and, mm -hmm. and uh uh you know being a part of uh the the dispute resolution process mm -hmm. also I'm 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 fairly uh fairly keen on the idea of uh bringing him on board yeah and i mean what do you, what do you see like like okay because consider <clears throat> like us as his sponsors advocates it's not just this meeting right it's like you know from now on going forward we can be like resources for chris like if he's ever having problems or or if he like needs to know that he's doing really fucking well and he's not seeing that like <laughs> or or if you know other people in the team are like needing to communicate something to him like we can kind of be these um yeah, yeah these like advocates in that way so yes i don't know if you see anything about that going forward um, I, 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 I am absolutely happy to do so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, I don't, are, are we looking for more commentary? I don't, know, I don't know what question I'm asking you. I guess just like, how do you see like supporting him? Like what would, what does that look like to you from here on out? Um, well, I, I have, I have, I have, uh, I have been Chris's ear for quite a while now and, and, and look forward to continuing to be in the future. Yeah. Um, uh, I, I, I try to. I try to help out in any way that I can already. So it will be interesting to sort of be on the, uh, be on that sort of, what are we called, uncles? Yeah, uncles. <laughs> <laughs> Being Uncle Bowen. Uncle Yeah. Yeah. Chris. <laughs> hey, I want to be an uncle too. I don't know why. <laughs> I like <laughs> in this scenario. Um is there anything specifically that you like want from your advocates from us going forward? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's also awesome. absolutely. It's, it's most of the time is like a pretty easy ask, as long as I mean I like listening to. <laughs> uh, sweet. Okay, so um, I know we've been through the roles sheet a whole lot over the past few weeks, but I'd love to just hear like like a, a little a little overview of like your main your real commitments like going forward like what you commit your your work as a unicorn and as this like giveth core person to be um just so that Bowen and I like hear that really clearly and that we can look back on that <clears throat>
Mm -hmm. yeah the zen hub leaning the comms meeting and all that cool so with the fundraising thing like even if it's not michael like do you would you say that you have a commitment to like supporting the fundraiser role or like or you have a commitment to like making sure that like the fundraising mission is going forward. I'm just trying to see what exactly your commitment is there. Okay, cool. Um, <clears throat> I think that answers my question. Um, so all we really have left to do is just agree to um, some date in the future for uh, reevaluating your role status, unicorn status. We've been doing three months for everyone else, I think. Does that sound good? I can commit to that. Okay. <clears throat> cool. Um, yay, now we just need to do a vote. Yeah. And then you're a unicorn. <laughs> yay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um probably go with go. Oh no, we don't have to. I mean, we still we're your sponsors. Yeah, we're our votes what? are obviously yes already. <laughs> there are three yes votes in this room. <laughs> yeah. Stella. 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 <laughs> He's like four. We need to see if Stella says yes. Yeah, the, 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 the dog. Crypto dog. <laughs> yeah. We would vote everybody. In, yeah. So. <laughs> Yeah, she's kind of at an 11 a lot of the time. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I'll make that thread, or not the thread, I'll, the make, I'll make the proposal on the Lumia thread for you to be voted in. And then hopefully by like, well, maybe next week will be your first, uh, your first week with funds that you can play with. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. They can they can create it in any campaign that the campaign manager will allow it to be. Yeah, because created. they propose a milestone, and then if the campaign manager 
accepts the proposed milestone, then it just goes into that campaign. Do, do, you could propose a, a milestone for the Unicorn DAC um, as can anybody else, but it, it's up to the campaign reviewer to accept the milestone or not before before it shows up on the page for something that you can actually delegate funds to. That's how it works. It's already been working like that for, for as long as I've used it. You either, either accepts it and then it gets funding when anyone uh, yeah. sends money to it. Yeah, because so, you can you can donate directly now, can't you? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. can donate directly or it can be delegated too. But um, the the main thing is they for a mile, the only uh, obstacle for a milestone to be proposed is getting a campaign manager to accept it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because the Unicorn DAC is a DAC, so it can send money anywhere. First, Unicorn DAC has to be created. Yeah. Well, and and in the beginning, exactly it's right. it's going to be there's going to be a centralized a centralized role of of delegating the funds as we see fit until we have an automated process for it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Spreadsheets just to help Laurel out. Yeah. I mean, ideally, this is on Argon right. soon. Yeah. Ish. Yeah. <laughs> ish. Yeah. It'll be months. Like a few months, probably. No. Yeah. A totally understandable point of confusion. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And, and I mean, I think that people could petition unicorns or, or like lobby them. I don't see why not. You know, if someone in social coding is like, oh, I like really want to get funding for this thing. And I think that unicorns would actually be into it. Let me pick a unicorn who likes me and <laughs> let me try and convince them to like boost my signal. Uh, yeah. What? What is EtherBank? I don't, I don't, I haven't heard about it. Huh, okay. Cool. Okay. Oh, Kai posted it. Oh, he replied to it. Okay, gotcha. Uh, so are we going to do the reward down meeting? Yeah, I mean, you guys have like 15 minutes, right? Yeah, we can take it out right away if this is done. Who all, who all is in it? You and Danny Danny. Have to be there. And Bowen and Chris, and that's it. Yeah, I guess so. Huh? Wow, yeah. Um, how long does your guys' reward down meeting usually take? 20 minutes. Oh, nice. Um, assuming assuming yeah. Danny's, uh, if Danny's on top of it, then really fast. I'm not on top of it right now, so. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna what check room? in. With, we're in Gov. Okay. I'm gonna check in with Taylor and see what's coming back in a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.